Here we go, another lighter. Check it out. I'm going to have to set my uh, camera up a little bit because I know I'm going to get out of frame otherwise. Uh, see, this says Firebird Japan on the bottom of it, okay? Listen here. I don't know. I'm going to take this apart. You know, uh, I've taken two others apart. This one here is Firebird, and so is this one. Same lighter. Then I'm going to tell you something about these lighters, too, guys. Their quality. Alright. They're small. These are quality through and through. Uh, the only thing. Well, let's take this one apart and see. Uh, I done took the screw, uh, the filler cap off, which is right here, and the, and the screw to, uh, to push it out with. And uh, now I'm just going to take this here and push it out. Okay, well, this is plastic here. The PZO on this is plastic. I've come across plastic PZOs and metal PZOs on these. Look, there's a piece of foil in there. Don't ask me what for. These lighters are very, very simple to disassemble. Okay, first thing you do, right off the bat, is just push these two pins out. Okay, one's for the uh, thumb mechanism, the other one's for the uh, mechanism uh, lever for your, uh, lifts up your gas valve. Alright. These lighters, too, are usually dirtier and dirty. Yeah, this thing ain't never been apart. Got a lint in it. Got everything in it. Alright. Okay, let's go ahead and... And what I usually do is on this here, this is ceramic, guys. What I usually do is stick a little screwdriver underneath there. And just kind of pry up on that, all right? They just don't pop up very easily at all. That's what I found out. You got to kind of be gentle but forceful, if you know what I mean. All right, you see how that goes in there, okay? All right. All right. There's the other little unit right here. Now, this does have a... Uh, and did have like an O-ring or something around there. Uh, I don't know what for, but uh, just remember how this goes right here. All right. What I usually do is, uh, whew, boy, look at all the dirt and grime in there. Uh, you know, guys. Give a lighter a good cleaning like this, and uh, then after you do and you assemble it and everything, there on out, you know, take care of it. You know, get just a, a little bottle of like that uh, compressed air, you know, that people use for blowing out their laptop keys and stuff, and just blow it in there once in a while and blow all that lint and that garbage out of there. All right, it's just going to get me a uh, little brush. Clean this PZO up. This is a quality PZO here, guys. This is the exact same manufacturer uh, PZO here. You can see it right here. As uh, they use in the Savinelli. I am Corona Savinelli pipe lighters. But uh, this PZO here, though, is is uh is thicker so it's it's not going to work in uh if you need a PZO for your Savinelli
Well, I think still got some bite to it. I got a little bit of, uh, we got a little bit of corrosion right there. I'm gonna get a little scotch bright on this and just take it off. A little bit of it. And it just kind of shot sprite that up a little bit because these things do have to have a ground, you know. Don't have to be, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, there's that part there. And uh, this part you, you got right here, guys, it goes right in the bottom of there, all right? So when you get this far down, just stack everything back in together there like that and uh, leave it, all right? And just uh, set that off to the side. Now we're going to go to uh, clean this up a little bit. It don't take long to rebuild one of these lighters. Uh, especially if you just got the parts and stuff. And These lighters, you know, I've had, like I said, I've had those with the PZOs or metal. The only thing, these are just, they hold probably, I think, a gram and a half of butane. But these are probably some of the easiest uh, butane lighters that I've come across. Uh, you know, that's easy to repair. The freaking things work good. Light up consistently and regularly. All right. This one had a little bitty o-ring or something there so before I forget I'm just gonna pop out an o-ring here and put one on there and be done with it I don't know sometimes you don't know the exact sizes on these but you're just like on this here part you don't really have to know the exact size you just gotta put it on there and, and uh, let's see how was that old ring it was over here it probably could have been a little tighter on there but that's gonna work anyway All right, that'll work. All right. This is pretty good. Polish it when I get it put back together. And when it comes to taking these, uh, let's take this out. These here, uh, flame adjustment screws right here. They got two seals on them. Alright. Right there they are. And uh, I'm going to put two seals back on them. And find my uh, seal tool I'm going to use for removing the seals. It just broke it off. See how tough them O rings are? Those are good O rings there. Don't, you know what, guys? If, if, if you got O rings, put new ones on anyway, even if you don't know. See, these are the ones I'm going to use. These ones I, and here's what it is right here. If you want to go to O rings and more. All right. There's a part number and whatnot. He's using Pipe Master for rebuilding the flame adjustment valve. Calibri 2002 uh, seat uh, flame adjustment. The Zaman Ronson valve mod is what I use these in. So, uh, I have my expander here. What did I do with it? Here it is. to get on here so ouch man oh man mm. 
I just repair we go. Alright. Been kind of taking a break from this lighter repair here. I got more lighters and a little bit sitting around here to work on and just getting kind of looking at what I need to do and things like that. I'm just going to take it easy tonight, you know, sometimes when I get off work, you know. Been a long day and you just ain't in the mood to, you just want to relax your, I just want to relax my mind, you know. Not have to think about anything in particular, but I got to watch some TV there tonight and I thought, you know, boy, let's get some of this stuff done here. Okay. There we go. What I usually do too is, is put a little bit of uh, silicone grease on the end of these old rings. That just helps them, you know, seal a little bit, go in a little easier. All right, now there's a valve off here. You know, look at that, broke that off. Good Lord. Isn't that something? I've had uh, two of these off with no problems. I go to do a video and I got a problem. You know, I've, I've did multiple videos and uh, and had that happen, so I just ended up not posting them. Some simple problem came up. Next thing you know, I just put a halt because I'm using this camera. You know, I'm limited to about 28 minutes worth of video on here, so you got to be careful. There we go. Keep track of the time. You know. How many videos I posted up and got cut off prematurely, but all right. Well, that ain't bad, but I, I usually, you know what? You need to put one. See, I, that's about a millimeter. You need to put one in anyway. I just cut, you guys go back, I just cut uh, seals out of rubber that I purchased online. Hopefully I can get that sound, find something in here that's going to work. Sometimes it takes longer to do this part here than it does to dis take apart and disassemble a whole lighter. Just getting things. I'm trying to see if I can see something here. Alright, I'm going to have to. Alright. I'm trying to do this with my. Behind the camera, I'm hard to focus on that, but boom, there that went. That's the one to pull off. Well, I'm probably look around for another hour before I find that. Let's try another one. See if I can 
find another one here. Hopefully. That's too big. That's too big. Okay. Let me cut that though. to do with the razor blade but I'm working on some time frame here so I need to get this done as soon as I can Closer to my glasses here so I can see. Maybe I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but uh, get in there. Yeah, it's a little too big. Especially when you're trying to fabricate a new part out of because you don't have something. Like this. I think this is too small. Yeah. Doggone it. Yeah, the stem's too small. Most of these stems in here are one size. Let's see what we got here. Sometimes I cut these O-rings. See if we got some that'll fit in there. That's too uh, small as well. That's too big. some out here. I got to punch one. I'm just going to get, let's uh, see, maybe uh, a one and a half or something. Let's see, let's try this one. This is, uh, that's a 1.8. That's still too big. About 1.5, I think. That's a 1.5. Now, let's see what we got here. Try that. That might 
won't work if I can stay steady enough to get it in there. work inside there. So we're going to go with uh, greasing this back up. These are usually pretty good because it isn't something that really seats down there once and isn't really anything that gets what we call completely wore out. at all to either. One time something like that leaks a little bit if, you're, if you keep uh, <clears throat> well that looks good there. Oh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake while I had that off. That's what happens when I get in a hurry for the camera. and see that little hole here. Let me put my see little hole down in there. Okay, I gotta take my little where you at here. Here you go. I get these little tip cleaners for like a torch. This is the smallest one. I get down in there and uh Stick in that hole and try to get in that hole anyway. Now let me get down close to it here. There we go. All right. See that filter on the end of that? Yeah, all that garbage. Look at that. That's what causes your problem right there. You know, a lot of times, because these old uh, filters get stuck full of gunk. Look at that. See that? It's right on the end of that brass there. Every one that I've fixed has been like that. The old nasty butane that they used back in the day wasn't very pure. That's why a lot of these lighters, they just need a new filter. All right, look down in there, you know, we look pretty good, so I'm just going to stick a uh, filter down in there, Got one right here, all right, I already had one cut size for you. You get them filters out of the disposable butane lighter, all right? Tear one part and grab it. Now let's put uh, this back in. There. All right. Grab this. Now oh, here goes the caulk. Let's see. Get this started. for this one. Plus it worked fine on the last one I've done. Now we'll see. Uh, 
Alright. I'll shoot a little gas in this. Blow her out. Okay, now put that valve back in there. I got the nose in that penny I was using. There's a the wheat back. All right. Let's put some gas in here and see what we got. Put a little more. Let's do a test here. See if I got to, oop, turn that down. You see that coming out of there. And what's going to happen if I, uh, oh boy. Better.